Good morning, family. How are you today? Um, for those who don't know, this is Margie Mayer, and it's again a privilege to be here uh, being part of the devotions. Um, but before I get started today, uh, let me say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just, I just thank you for your word. I thank you for this opportunity to be with my church family and uh, my family who is not able to attend church with me that's in Florida. And uh, this is uh, my time that I get to spend with her as well. And Lord, I just pray that you would go before me in um, words and that your Holy Spirit would uh, minister to all. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, in Matthew's Gospel, uh, verses 20, or chapter 28, 16 through 19, Jesus told his disciples to go out into the world uh, to tell others about the good news, about the salvation that he offered. This is also what we would call the good or the Great Commission. Jesus also instructs us to do the same. In Mark 16, 15, he says to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We may not be called to serve out in the missions field or in a faraway country, um, but our mission field could be as close as our family, our loved ones, our friends, and our co-workers. People come into our lives for a season and for a reason. And I may have said that before, but it's still a burden that the Lord has put on my heart. Some will walk with us for just a few steps, while others will run the marathon of life with us. Whatever the reason that our lives become entwined, God has called us to be a witness for Him. How are we impacting the lives of those who come in contact with us? Even if it is, uh, I'm sorry, even if we share our road just for a short distance, we may be called upon to pray for them again and again. We may have, um, experience, we've all had the experience of the Lord dropping somebody's name into our thought processes. It may be that we just need to pray for them. Maybe call them, or maybe bring them to Jesus, like the friend, the paralytics uh, that were mentioned in Mark. They wanted their friends to be their friend to be healed, and they actually carried him to the house where Jesus was teaching. And when they arrived, they couldn't get close, so they lifted the panels of the roof of the house and lowered the friend the friend down in front of Jesus. Now that might sound a little outrageous to lift the panels off of somebody's roof, but Jesus saw their faith and said to the friend, son, your sins are forgiven. Be open to the leading of the Holy Spirit and those who cross our paths may be called into our lives to be praying for us in the same manner. I wanna share a, a prayer that I sent out this morning to uh, quite a few people um, in a message today. I lift you up in prayer out of the abundance of love that God has put in my heart for you. Because of the belief I have in God who orchestrates good in our lives, I trust he is working all things for his glory. You work hard helping others because you love them. And I pray for your hope. I pray that your hope grows and uh, you stay strong through the Lord and that his strength helps you endure. And one last thought, to follow the advice written in 1 Corinthians, if we tell others about Jesus, the good news, but don't show them love, we are like a clinging, uh, clinging brass or, um, sorry, a sounding brass or a clinging cymbal. Or for those who are old enough to know, the teacher of Charlie Brown. So I would like for you to, to just, um, just think about those who maybe have crossed your paths in the past, um, maybe as your kids were growing up and um, the friends, their friends, parents, uh, maybe they were um, football buddies or whatever it is, that the Lord can still use you to witness to them, even though you you may not be walking the same, but they can they come to our minds in prayers. And I say that because just recently, um, 
the the families that my son played football with, the families that my daughter played baseball with or my other daughter played volleyball with, those people have come back to my mind. And it's not just um, because I'm thinking about them nonchalantly. I do believe that the Lord has put them on my heart to pray for them and to continue to lift them up. People that have come into my life for just a short time, I wondered why sometimes, but it's like just because now they have somebody praying for them and encouraging you to pray for those who the Lord drops their name into your thoughts today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you so much for um, your abundant love and the great commission to go out and to tell others about your saving grace and just how important it is for us to use our, our lives, our witness, our hearts. And Lord, I just pray that we can do it in love and that the people that we, that we see, that we talk to, that they would feel your presence with us. And we just ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.